Hello and welcome to Fort Bragg Timberwolves football for MendocinoTV.com and for the Skunk Radio. I'm Lindy Peters. We're all set for the very first game of the year. The McKinleyville Panthers are in town to take on the Fort Bragg Timberwolves. In the Junior Varsity Contest, Fort Bragg won by a score of 12 to 6. An exciting first touchdown just before halftime when Taylor Sullivan, the quarterback, pump faked on a fourth down play and ran it in from 17 yards out to score the first touchdown. McKinleyville would go on to tie it up in the third quarter. It was six to six going into the fourth quarter but then Tyler Baker with a short touchdown run for Fort Bragg and their defense held on to win it the JV's game is over Fort Bragg has beat the McKinleyville Panther JV team by a score of 12 to 6 now we get set for varsity football action First off, let's talk about the Fort Bragg Timberwolves coming off a tremendous year last year, and two of their skill position players are back. Quarterback Tyler Ashby is back in better shape than ever, and the exciting, thrilling running back Zach Smith is back, and boy, did he have a great year as a junior. He expects to even have a better year as a senior. We'll have a special halftime interview with head coach Roy Perkins talking about the upcoming season, but now let's get set for some Timberwolf action tonight. The Timberwolves and the McKinleyville Panthers. First off, the Fort Bragg Timberwolves will be running their same veer option that they ran last year with head coach Roy Perkins. Again, Tyler Ashby, the quarterback, he can run, he can throw, and uh, he's got some good skill position receivers. Ty Vaughn is back from last year at receiver. He really showed good promise last year, and towards the end of the season, he came out and made some big plays for the Timberwolves, including a touchdown in the playoffs against the Piedmont Highlanders. As I mentioned, Zach Smith, the outstanding running back, also looks good on defense at outside linebacker. Expect him to make a lot of tackles. And Tyler Ashby, the quarterback for the Timberwolves, who has to run that veer option, showed that he could throw the football last year when they took on Willits, and they had to come from behind with an exciting, thrilling victory. He he had to throw the football in the fourth quarter. They knew he was going to throw the football, and yet he succeeded and brought his team to victory. Head coach Roy Perkins expects a lot of things out of this team this year, but you never know. This is the first game, so we'll find out tonight. Again, this is MendocinoTV.com. I'm Liddy Peters for the Skunk. We're rebroadcasting this game Saturday morning. Let's talk now about the McKinleyville Panthers, who are down here from up there in the Big Five. Now, the Timberwolves lost just two games last year. One was to Arcata and the other was to St. Bernard's. Both of them on the road up in the northern part of California, up in the same area where McKinleyville comes from. So expect a good game. The Panthers always have a strong football program. Expect the same tonight. They're led by their quarterback, Lane Grace. They'll run that same veer off offense, so look for him to either run the football, give it to his running back, who is Thomas Gunderson. He's the top running back for McKinleyville. And uh, on defense, they basically can run a 4-4-3. They'll have four down linemen. They'll have four linebackers, two inside, two outside, and then three in the defensive backfield, two cornerbacks, and led by a safety in the defense. Their defense is led by linebacker Troy Hillegeist and also Mark Mateg. So look for the McKinleyville Panthers to run a stout defense, but can they stop Zach Smith? We're going to find out tonight. So get set. Fort Bragg Timberwolves football is next. Again, we're rebroadcasting this game on the Skunk FM. I'm Lindy Peters for MedicinoTV.com and the Skunk. Get ready. Fort Bragg Timberwolves football is coming up. we got a big crowd. The fog has rolled in. It's typical Fort Bragg football weather tonight. We're set for a great game. 